We've got Kira. Hello. Let us know where you are watching from. Say hello in the chat. Give me a number one if you are excited by today's title. If you don't know what the title is for today, it's all about dragons. We're going to talk about dragons, dragon guides, inviting the dragons into your life, and so much more. So give me a number one in the comment if you're super excited to start chatting about the dragon. And Fiona's like, I want to put a number one in. I want to put a number one in. <laughs> We've got Pauline in Surrey. She's put a number one. Hello, Pauline. We've got Varasha. Hello, Varasha. Welcome. If this is your first ever live with me, you'll get used to this. You'll get used to the energy. You'll get used to all the requests to put number one in. <laughs> We've got Lorette who's watching in the Wirral. Hello. I love your accent over there. Uh, we've got Joe. Hello, Joe. We've got Karen. We've got Karen. Hello, everyone. It's great to have you all here. Give us all some love. Let us know you are there when you're just joining. So we've got loads more just pinging through. Hello, hello. And I'm going to very proudly introduce my darling next to me here. We've got some love hearts. We've got Kimberly. Hello, Kim. So this is my gorgeous Fiona. Fiona is a dragon expert. She is the leader of the dragons, the human guide of them. And she's here to be the spokesperson between the two worlds. So very, very similar to what I do with spirituality and connection to guides and psychics. She's also the one that has been chosen here on Earth. And it's her purpose to link you guys with dragons and dragon guides. So I'm just going to let her introduce herself and tell you a little bit more about that. And then we're going to come to all the questions that you guys will no doubt have. But we're going to give you some great insight today. Um, so over to you, Fiona. Tell okay. us a little bit about yourself. Thank you very much, Katie. Um, yes, I speak to dragons. And um, I'm their grand master channeler. So I'm channeling the dragons when I'm dealing with my clients, when I'm helping them. I can feel into them. I can feel where their blocks are. I can feel what it feels like inside their body because I feel it too. I'm like, oh, God, we've got to get past this because I can't breathe. <laughs> and the dragons are really helping me understand what they feel from the people. So the dragons are very much about it's a revolution of feeling. It's they feel what you feel. And if you're asking right questions, if you're asking for dragon assistance, if you're asking for dragon help, they are there. But they like spirit, they do need to be approached <laughs> in a very respectful way. But I will yeah. tell you something that's very different about the dragons. The dragons are cheeky. The dragons are very direct. The dragons are somewhat um, straight talking. Um, my parents, my whole family is from um, Scotland and the north. So we call a spade a spade. And the dragons are just great. It just They don't beat her out the bush. They don't pussyfoot around. They're kind of like stop it stop it Fiona if I'm going around in my head thinking overthinking something they'll just come in and they'll say stop that that's such a human response and I'm like oh I'm pulled up by my bootstraps and this is really what the dragons do and um, so just a minute ago and they're very like this they're very spontaneous and they um they wait until the last minute to give me what they want to talk about and if I'm in a in a session with a client years ago, oh God, I used to prepare it, I used to prepare myself. And now I don't get to prepare anything because it's like, it's got nothing to do with you, Fiona. All you need to do is get out of the way. And this is the biggest thing that I like, I love to help people with because I can feel when you're in your head. I can feel when you're blocking yourself and I can feel when you're not allowing the information to come through. So this is one of the things that they wanted to share with you today. Basically, they said, I said, what's the purpose of my call with Katie today? You just don't know what you don't know. Meaning, there is so much more than you, than you just don't know how to get there to ask the questions, what is possible for you? Even before Katie and I came on a minute ago, I was talking about going for a hike and I was worried that you know, I was going to be really, really aching in my muscles for the rest of the week. And they're like, well, speak to your body and just tell it that you don't want that. <laughs> so it's like I've envisioned my body being very subtle, supple, very flexible, not aching from the hike. So there's, there's things you just don't know how to do yet. But because of our system and our education system and having all this stuff forgotten about all this magical stuff that we can do, 
they're bringing all this back up for us. They're bringing this all back up in the future generations that are coming. So your children are way more advanced than you. My children are great at animal communication or having messages written on the wall and memorizing things and making things happen if they want to pass their driving test or they don't hold on to things the same as our generation do. And um, if we go through trauma or an event or something, it's like it, we hold on to it. And they're just like, goodness sake, let it go. It's past, you know, like don't hold on to it forever. The only person you're hurting is you. There's so much wisdom, so much wisdom there. And they are desperate to get through to as many people as possible. And this is the year of the dragon. But how, like, sorry to interrupt you there, but how yeah. did you actually start with the dragons? Because obviously when you're working with spirit, yeah. spirit make themselves known to you, as yeah. you guys all know. So we've got some newbies coming on, by the way. Hello, everyone. Um, you know, spirit make themselves known to you. Guardian angels make themselves known. Guides do. So how did you get into, like, how did you even start with the dragons? How did they even come to you? What was the yeah, first when I thing? Start getting, yeah, when I started getting messages, I was like a really loud voice in my head. About the year 2000, I had this really loud voice in my head. Uh, well, actually, it wasn't in my head. It was in my whole room. I like, woken up at three o'clock in the morning with a very poignant question that just changed the trajectory of my life. And I was recently single and moved into my other house. And I think I must have been asking questions like, well, now what? And this voice came in and just said, do you still want to be doing this in five years time? Very strong, very powerful. And I was like, no. Do you still want to be doing this in three years time, Fiona? I'm like, mm, no, clearly, <laughs> you know, and that's how it worked. And then I was like, okay, well, now what then? So I'm always open to asking, always open to getting guidance. Now, it wasn't until a few years later, like 2016, when I was guided to come and live in France, about 2003, come and live in France, guided to run a business, guided how to raise my kids, guided to open up retreats, guided to write my book. And then, then the dragons came through and I saw them first in an eye, like a, just a big golden eye. And I'm getting a lot of reports from people who are seeing something very similar. They're getting dragon eyes or they're getting, they love dragons. And some people even say, I have a dragon. They're, they're so open about it. Say, I have a dragon. I have a dragon that's landed in this field where I am to set up my yoga studio or my yurt. Or um, So they are coming in. And this year, there's going to be more and more dragons coming in. And what is it about... Um, the dragon what is it about dragons and what was it about spirit guides because you're a very spiritual person anyway so what is it that what's the difference you think why do some people see dragons and resonate with them and why do some people resonate with like angels and spirit guides good question <laughs> it's like a personality thing isn't it it's like just what what resonates with you I like yeah. that they're very powerful. I like that they empower me. I like that they give me a new backbone. I like that they um, they just make me braver and, and more out there. Um, and I don't doubt that that's the messages coming through. I mean, I remember one time I was saying, you've got to speak to me louder because I can't hear you. And I know you want to send me messages. And they were just like, well, shut up then. You're overthinking. Like, stop thinking so much. Um, what's the difference between dragons and spirit? There's, there's not. It's just it's your preference. So they come in for your preference. And certain people will get certain um, teams of, of dragons or certain kinds of dragons, depending what they're here for. And those particular dragons will help them forge and make themselves known in their particular field. That's what I found fascinating because I was manifesting a lot of things I was creating a lot of things um, and then what came through for me were these eight manifesting dragons that get, showed me all the different steps to take and they're like way shower cards that they messages that came and they said now make those into cards I'm like I don't know how to make cards and they're well you'll learn <laughs> so they're showing you the way of how you operate in the higher frequencies so it's all about creating the world around you but others others get them for like their death doulas or their maternity doulas or their and they'll have dragons that help them with that so there's information that's been lost in our 
for centuries. And they know the dragons are coming back and just saying, you know how to do this. We're going to remind you how you do this. Does that make sense? They're like strengths, aren't they? Because I describe spirit guides as backbone, like you've just said, powerful dragon. Okay. Yeah. powerful I always describe someone asked me actually recently in this group what's the difference between a spirit guide and an angel and so angels are very soft they're very delicate they're very nurturing they're very kind they're you know they're the ones that soften the almost directness of spirit because sometimes they can be quite bold and the dragon certainly can mm. and whereas spirit guides are more of your backbone strength that sort of energy so the dragons are more powerful then, I would say, like even stronger. So do you think, in your opinion, that people that are drawn to the dragons or that the dragons choose them, because let's face it, that's what happens, do you feel that those people have got a bigger purpose here in this world? Or do you feel that like, it doesn't have to be that deep or that life change and it's almost they just maybe need to show, show up stronger in this lifetime, they're therefore me, they need more power. They're showing me two Sorry, things at the moment. Any questions. <laughs> <They're all right. laughs> they're showing me two things at the moment. Yes, it can be for your own personal development. Yes, it can be for you just to get over what you've gone through. And yes, it is definitely that you've got something much bigger to usher in, to bring into the world. But sometimes when you've been through something really tragic or something very traumatic, that is your purpose to bring that into the world for other people who are going through the same thing. So they've helped me enormously with any everything. We've all been through stuff, haven't we? Like yeah. you know, low, low, low finances or another relationship breakup or problems with our kids and having to raise them. Or And the dragons laugh and kind of say, you know, in generations before, people like you, spirituals, would you know need to go to the mountains and kind of readjust themselves to this new energy that was coming in and you know you're having to do it while you wash the dishes you're having to do it while you raise your kids you're having to you know work with being this very spirit spiritual person let your soul come all the way through while you're running your life and trying to earn money but we're here to show you how to do that and they are so how would you say that? I mean, you say angels are really soft and gentle. Dragons are so patient and they are the, the depth of their love is just it brings tears to your eyes that you are that respected and that loved that you came in to do what you are here to do. They just they have you on a pedestal. So often we put spirituals on a, on a pedestal, don't we? Angels, yeah, yeah. we think, oh, help me, help me. But the dragons are kind of saying, oh, my God, have you any idea how we see you? That you chose to be here at this time on the planet when, you know, it's difficult. It's hard. We, we... That, that's great, guys. Yeah. 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 Fine. They see you in the most beautiful divine light. Mm -hmm. And if only you could see yourself just for a moment, just for a split second in that power, you'd be absolutely unstoppable. It's incredible. Yeah. And it's funny, isn't it, that, we, you know, sometimes we remember how powerful we are and then for some reason life gets in the way and then we forget it again. But if you always had something to go back to and what the dragons have shown me is how to really get into who you are so that you can come all the way through so that you've got no fear because they've got you. Absolutely, they've got you. Absolutely. <laughs> so tell me about the different types of dragon so because you said you've made these cards which i've seen by the way they're incredible mm -hmm. but tell me about the actual different types of dragons and are these like across the board or are these your personal dragons these are my personal dragons and everybody right. has access to their own personal dragons but anybody at any time can go in and you and and call on this team so for example if i'm teaching people how to manifest something or create something different in their life or to let go of something then I would say oh bloom would be the best one for you to sort of raise your energy and be more playful so there's a team of eight that came through first of all they all they all talked to me through um the first golden dragon that I saw who is like <laughs> the size of like three-story house and I saw her golden eye but she and I said um so how would you like me to call you how how do I refer to you and she said you can call me Serafina I was like okay so your mind starts ticking where have I heard that name before did I just make that up and she said well it's not my real name but it's the name that you can pronounce and a name that you can use so she is um for example 
that would be one of the cards that, that you know messages that came up so step aside and get out of your own way but um so she came through with a lot of these messages and I just kept interviewing her and I just had questions and I just went in again the week later and I just asked questions and I recorded it so that I could transcribe everything and all these messages came through she's her energy is very she's the matriarch by the way of this whole cosmic parent clan they're like cosmic parents they just they take care of you they walk alongside you they can't do it for you but they will show you how if that makes sense <laughs> they kind of like they'll they even they've even turned my head in the past they'll say just look there you know and they'll just they'll do certain <laughs> things and they did that to another girl that I know a friend of mine as well and she said they she gets these kind of like it's not me Fiona I'm just being taught I'm like yeah I know so like they can they can really help you look and show you where to look but Serafina she's like the matriarch she really 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 cares um, and she wants you to see the big picture. She's like, stop focusing on the, all the negative little bits and things that don't go wrong. What do you want? What's your big picture? Um, and when you tune into her energy, you you just feel, you see the bigger picture and you're kind of like, oh, I get it now. So she has you having those great aha moments. Um, anyway, so she's the one that came through to me in, in the golden eye and then in a deep meditation, she, she revealed herself. And I go and sit with her quite a lot and ask her questions if I have something that I want help with a client. I'll say, it's over to you now because I can't get them out of their own way. So what is it that you want me to do? How can how can I help them? So give me give me guidance. Um, then the other seven I have, um, the next one who came through was Tara. Tara is a sea green dragon. She's very much about how you make different choices, how you choose the energy that you're in. It's your choice, it's your decision. If something really awful is going on over here and you're kind of getting down and, and depressed with it and it's not working and she's like, well, the longer you focus on that, the more you're gonna get that. So let's get you to the opposite. What is it that you would like instead? So she's always about flipping from blue to green, flipping to the other perspective and saying, focus on that. Where do you feel that in your body? What are the thoughts you have as you can? She's asking you to know that you have the choice. You can either be in stress or you can be like, just so relaxed. It's your choice. I remember going into a post office once, like <clears throat> screeched in there, did, I, did my delivery of what I needed to deliver. And I'm thinking, where's my stress point right now? I'm like, why am I at nine? Why am I so stressed? So at that point, I made a choice that I could, you know, just bring all that stress out of my body and not run around at a, at a point nine all the time. You start to see your triggers. Yeah, a lot of people do do that. You can see it. When you're spiritual as well and you're around, you are standing like a post office kid, you can feel it. Like you can feel the, the stress of people. Mm -hmm. And you think, oh, just everyone calm down. Life's not that manic. Just calm, you know, just be relaxed. So, so you've got a dragon really for most things, haven't you? Most you've got things. a dragon yeah. for near enough everything in life. So I suppose what you're trying to say here is the dragons choose the people, then you align to the dragon that you feel you need the most guidance for, and they're all available for you to access. But how would you even start? So, say, for example, um joe blogs wanted to start connecting with dragons so if he called on the dragons and they came and then he was like right i want to start communicating with them now the one of the first questions we get asked here in this group is how do i meet my spirit guide or how do i actually connect with my spirit guide so what would you say to someone that wanted to really start in their infancy of connecting to their dragons it's just a question of being willing being a question yeah. of being willing. If the dragons haven't come through to you and you haven't seen a dragon eye, like you're not being called. You can call your dragon in. Now you can call in any of the dragons that I use in my team. And I've got recordings for you to sort of help you word that. And it's just understanding the kind of conversation and communication that you would start with. And it's very much like how you'd talk to your best friend. It's like, hey, how are you doing? Um, um, I, I'd really like this to happen in my day. Um, if, if anything better could happen, that would be awesome as well. I'm really appreciating that you're there. Um, I'm not handling this very well. I'd like to know how to handle this. One of my favorite lines that I often use um, is, 
you know how to do this, please show me how. Oh, yeah. Because that's very powerful, isn't it? It's like, you know, like, you know what the outcome is. You, you know, know what I need to do. Happen. You know, yeah. you know how I need to step out of the way, you know. So when I do a reading for someone, I often say, how does Katie or how does Fiona or how do how what how do they need to change in order to see, you know, their best future, you know, come to life or um, their boss, their best possible scenario or their fullest potential would be a great question you know how do they need to step out of the way how do they need to change to see their fullest potential and then I get the information that comes through it's always energetic it's always a feeling and then I'm beginning to describe it and feed it back so the questions are really important so I teach very much about what questions you can ask so that you start up that conversation so that you integrate them in with your day just going back to something you said about the eye so you can see the eye so that was something interesting that you spoke with me about how you start off with seeing the eye and so obviously an eye when you see an eye out the corner of your eye are you all still with me it's you can tell when it's a human and you can tell when it's mm -hmm. an animal you can tell when it's a i think you can tell when it's a dragon's eye so if you've not seen the eye is it going to be harder for you to communicate and call them in no you have to be very um again this is one of my dragons bloom she's very pink she's very big she's very um rebellious so she doesn't like rules and she's never been tamed she's very unapologetic and she's just like why not just be playful and Unfortunately, even when we go into our spiritual side, into our feminine energy and all the rest of it, there's so many rules, aren't there, Katie? It's like there's so many things. Oh, I have to do this first thing in the morning. Oh, God, to do that first thing in the morning. Oh, I've got to meditate for this many hours. I've got to eat like this. She's like, she kind of swears sometimes. And she's like, stop being so serious. Have some fun with it. And just yeah. because you think about it, that, God, wouldn't that be fun if I could? I've manifested more things by using this phrase wouldn't it be fun if yeah mm -hmm. and i think that's the thing isn't it people get so scared to go and do that to just go and just experiment with it people get so worried about getting everything wrong all the time and you know there's a couple of people here that have been commenting by the way that are actually telling you when they met their dragon so <laughs> there's so many of you here like okay so let me just do a little poll with the audience so who's actually met their dragon Put a love heart in the comments. Don't just click the love heart icon. Put a love heart in the comments if you've already met your dragon. You've already made a connection. You've already made that link. Put a love heart in the comments. Put a number two if this is all completely brand new to you and you're scared that you'll get the connection wrong. Let me know. So Pauline's saying that sounds like my kind of dragon, the pink one. Yes. <laughs> um... Kim saying she met her dragon a couple of years ago. Tell us about that, Kim. Uh, Kirsty saying that I first met my dragon in 2019 when I was having a huge shift and needed huge strength in looking forward to seeing and feeling my dragon again. It's been a while. Oh, so yeah, you can call me back at any point. Oh, love that. Who else has? So there's a lot of number twos where they are scared that they might get it wrong. Okay. So the thing is, guys, what, sorry, can I interject there? Because a lot of the psychic school students can get really overwhelmed with starting to get into the psychic development and starting to accept they're even gifted. And what I would say to you is if you're quite scared to experiment, then you probably were almost conditioned in your life, in your human life, and a routine was always there for you or you're always told what to do. So it's about understanding that you've got to almost remember that that's not your identity now that you're you're an adult and you can freely experiment in anything that you desire and you can't get it wrong and it's not going to be detrimental if you do so I think that's something you guys might want to have a feel into just to get your power back uh, we've got Valerie and Katie they've met their dragons um people are saying may have may have overlooked it uh so Jodie wants to know do different color dragons have certain meanings 
That is a very good question. I get asked that quite a lot. And um, mine do, but they all have different personalities. And I feel that when you get to know your dragon, so if you're seeing a dragon and it's a particular colour, the idea is that you feel into your dragon because it's got a particular personality and a particular message for you. So not all red dragons are X, Y, Z. Not all black dragons are X, Y, Z. I have a black dragon. He is very much my business dragon. And he is so demanding. He's got a very strong energy because I need that. And he's also kind of, you know, where's the transformation? Why is that important? And he grills me. He has, you know, he has grilled me to make sure that, you know, that's that I'm getting it because that's how I move forward. Um, I have seen just recently a transparent dragon. Oh, wow. Which was, yeah, which was new to me. And I'm like, oh, this is interesting. Um, and she, did, all I kept hearing in my head was shishi, shishi, shishi. Mm -hmm. she, I said, do you want me to call you shishi? Shishi, yes. And <laughs> I said, what is, what's your purpose then? Please tell me what your purpose is. And she said, all about your frequency. All about your energy, because you can't color it, you can't grab it, you can't touch it, you can't manipulate it, you can't mold it. All you can do is be in the frequency of it. So she's teaching about that. So there are different dragons for different things. Mm, that's really interesting, that is. Yeah. And I do like as well, I think something about the dragons that's probably a little bit more different and a little bit more tangible for some of you guys is that a lot of people want to know who their spirit guides are, what their names are. Whereas with the dragons, it's almost like you, you can, there's a card with their name on, that's their purpose. So you can kind of use it as your go-to tool, depending on what's going on with you. So I quite like that. Mm. Um, I think that might help more people. Uh, but it depends on, like you said, your personality. I never needed to know who my guides were. I was just kind of like, just help me, anyone help me. Yeah, yeah. Um, Trina saying, yes, that was me, Katie. My dad was Catholic. Yeah, about the conditioning. I get that. Uh, Sarah and Karen are just joining us. And Jody says, thank you. That was interesting. So this is our fabulous Fiona. I am going to pop a link on because, Fiona, if people want to know more information, is it okay if they contact you via this link that I'm going to post? The link is for certainly it's getting into into my group so that I can send you more information when I do events about the dragons. They can also just contact me via messenger or via this group. I mean, that's that's perfectly doable. If they've got any questions. I'll answer it there as well. So this link, when they click on it, sorry, just to recap, where does it take them? It takes them to be in in my community. So they come into my community, they'll get notification about any events or any lessons or any teachings that I'm doing about preparing for your dragon. Yeah. Calling in your dragon. Or you can you can DM me. You can send me a message and just say, I want to know more about how do I how do I work with my dragon? I used to have my dragon a while ago. I want to get to know them better. I want to know why they're coming, what they've got to say to me. How do I find that out? Perfect. So I've just pinned the comment. There we go. So make sure you keep in touch with her. And yeah, if you want more information, then Fiona is your girl. All right. Fiona, thank you so much for being here. This has been so interesting. Has everyone enjoyed this? Has everyone found this fascinating? Let me know in the comments, but thank you so much for your time. And guys, I will be back very soon delivering more information for you all and giving you some more insight in everything spiritual. And I just want to give a warm, warm welcome to everyone the new that is in the group. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Kirsty saying, thank you, Kate and Fiona. I'll be opening more connections with my dragons. Joe saying, thank you very much. Um, so everyone's really appreciative of your time and all your explanations. You, I don't think the dragons could have picked a more powerful queen than you. So <laughs> thank you for being here with us. All right. So thank you all you. lots of love and big lots kisses and love. Bye -bye. day, wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you soon. Bye.